going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a rewind effect in Vegas Pro 15. So on the screen right now I have the video example I made last week where I showed you how to create a zoom in transition in Vegas Pro 15. If you want to check out that video then be sure to head over to the description. So this is the clip we're going to be using and of course it is the same one you saw at the start and it's very very easy to create a rewind effect. So first of all, all we're going to do is play through the video. Now wherever we feel like we want to rewind, we simply just have to split it. So for example, right here, I'm going to press S on my keyboard. Now what we're going to do is left click and drag this off to the side. Now we're going to left click this on the left because of course we're going to rewind back to the start. We're going to press Ctrl C, come across Ctrl V. And we're going to press Ctrl V one more time. So now we have three of the same clips. So with this middle clip, we're now going to right click and we're going to select reverse. We're then also going to speed this clip up. So come to the end of the clip, hold Ctrl until you see these lines and drag in. Now that's sped it up. Then we can now connect this video back. We can connect this end video back. And now we are almost done. So I'll play it through for you. So it's going to do the zoom in transition and head over to the next scene. And from here, it's going to rewind. So as you can see, it did rewind. It didn't look too smooth because it is lagging. But there you go. It did get back to the video and the video continues on as normal. And then let's say once again, we want to create another rewind effect. So I'm going to go right here. So again, I'm going to press S on my keyboard. I'm going to come across and drag this across. I'm going to select this clip, press Control C and control V twice. Then this middle clip here, we're going to right click and select reverse. We're again going to speed it up by holding control from the end and dragging in. Drag this back, drag this back. And now if I play it through, you can see it reverses. Now, of course, we're not done there just yet. That's the simple reverse. Now to add some effects to make it look a little bit better. Now there's two things or there's three things we're going to be adding. One is the sound effect. Second is an overlay and third is the TV simulator video effects. Now these two, there will be a link in the description for you to download them. So first of all, I'm going to add on the overlay. So I'm going to drag and drop this, make sure it is above on a video track above your video, simply split it to how you need it. And right now you'll notice we cannot see our video. So to fix this part, all we're going to do is head over to video effects. From video effects, you're going to come down until you see mask. So you can see it is mask generator and um, for the default just drag and drop it on. And as you can see we can now see our clip. I'm going to bring up the low out a little bit and also the low in. And then I'm also going to bring the high in down to make them white lines a bit stronger. So that's how I'm going to have it. If you want to copy them settings feel free to but you can always play around and choose how you want it. So I'm going to X out of this. I'm then going to press control C and control V because of course we have two rewind effects and I'm going to put it right here. There we go. So now if I play this through, you can see we now get these lines to create a rewind effect. And again, same up here as well. Now adding on the sound effects, super simple, simply drag drop uh, right where this little audio wave is here. So you can see it's where it actually starts. So anything after that, just press S, delete the uh, start and then simply trim it into place. Once again, press Control C, Control V to the next clip and size it down. And now the sound effect and the overlay is in place. So I did say there's one more thing. And um, for that, we're going to head over to video effects. From here, we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to look for TV simulator. So it's right here and we're going to add on TV look. This time, this is going straight onto our video clip itself. And this is what it's going to look like. For the aperture grill, we're going to turn it all the way down. For the interlacing, we're going to turn that all the way down. And for the scan phasing, I'm going to leave it as it is. For this one, I'm just going to turn it down just a little bit. And static, I'm going to bring up a little bit as well. Now, we're not done just yet. What we're going to do is select Animate. On the very last keyframe, we're just going to drag across to the end and lay down a keyframe by pressing Add Keyframe. And then we're going to come to the very beginning. And all we're going to do from here where it says uh, line sync, we're going to change this by bringing it down a little bit. So it's going to distort the video. Now I'm going to X out of this. What I'll do is a RAM preview so it won't lag. 
For those that don't know how to do this, just double click, get your render regions and press Shift and B on your keyboard. Now what this will do, RAM preview. So it means it's going to play with no lag. So playing it through, as you can see, just like that. And that's the effect completed. And it goes on and on, and then it goes to the next scene where we do that effect again. Pretty simple effect to do, and you can see uh, adding that TV stimulator is optional. I do think it looks a lot better though, because that's with it, and this is without it. So completely optional, however, I do recommend that you do add it on. But that's it for this tutorial, hopefully it has helped you. As always, remember to subscribe, turn notifications on, and like the video.